Hello, today I'm going to show you how to grade assignments in Blackboard. To begin, you'll need to enter into your Blackboard site. From the control panel, select Grade Center. From here, you have two options on how to proceed when grading assignments. The first option is to view the Needs Grading page. If you click on Needs Grading, you'll be taken to a page where you can see anything in Blackboard that requires your attention. To access a submission, simply click on the name of the student whose submission you would like to view. Your second option to view an assignment is to select Full Grade Center from the control panel. This will take us to the Full Grade Center where you can see everybody's submission for the assignment. Simply locate the assignment column and the corresponding student whose assignment you wish to view. The yellow exclamation points alert you to any content that needs your attention. Simply click on the drop down arrow for the corresponding cell and then click on the attempt that you wish to view. Whether you went through the Full Grade Center or the Needs Grading page, you'll be brought to the same grading page. If the student submitted a supported document type, you may see their submission in the Inline Grading view. For more information about Inline Grading, you can view our Inline Grading tutorial video, whose information is in the description box below. Otherwise, you may be prompted to download the student's submission file directly. To do so, go ahead and click on the name of the file. From here, you can view what the student submitted. If the student's submission did render itself in the inline grading experience, this is where you can begin to mark up the paper. Once you've marked up the paper or downloaded their file attachment, it's time to enter in a grade and feedback for the student. The first thing you'll need to do is click on the score box. When you click on it, a drop down area appears. You can either enter in a score directly, or if you're using a rubric, you can go ahead and click on the rubric name to expand the rubric to grade your assignment. Once you've entered in a score or completed your rubric, you can enter in feedback to the student in the feedback box below. Go ahead and type in your comments here. If you wish to attach any files to the student, you can go ahead and click on the paperclip icon. This will bring up a button that lets you browse your computer for any files that you wish to send back to the student. Finally, if you wish to make any notes on this submission, you can click on the Add Notes button. Notes that you add here are private to instructor users and any teaching assistants within the course. Students will not see these notes. Finally, when everything looks good, you can go ahead and click Submit. When you click Submit, the grade is saved automatically to the Grade Center, as well as your comments. Any file attachments or feedback that you provided will also be sent to the student. That concludes this video about grading assignments in Blackboard. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please contact the Help Desk at 368HELP or at help.case.edu. Thanks for watching.